Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in this video we'll see that what is function in C++ and how we are using this function. You can see the definition of the function. Function is a block of code that performs some operation. It is a self-contained block of the statements that perform a task. Function is used to break down the complex program into the smaller chunks. It is useful for encapsulating common operations in a single reusable block that clearly describe what the function does. It defines input parameters that enable callers to pass arguments into the functions and the return value as an output. See, this is the syntax of the function. If you are creating any function, if you are declaring any function, return type then the name of the function and in the bracket you can see the number of parameters so this is known as argument list and bracket open bracket close then we will have a statement of this function there are different parts of the function you can see there is a return type so which is uh, it is used as a data type that function returns it is not necessary that the function will always return a value Second is a function name. So function name is the actual name of the function. For example, you want to perform addition. So you have to write the name of the function. Maybe addition or something else. Argument list or you can say the parameters. It allows passing the arguments to the function from the location where it is called from. So it is uh, separated by the comma. Then there is a function body. So it contains a collection of the statements that define what the function does. Now we'll see the program uh, of the function. So first of all, we'll declare with the adder file as include io stream. We'll have this. Uh, using namespace std now we'll declare the function for example i want to perform the addition of numbers right so i'll write the name of the function so return type the name of the function for example i'll write here addition number of parameters you can see the argument list so that will have this uh, first parameter number one then uh, integer number two we'll have a main function so we'll declare the main function integer main so body of this function now here i have declared this uh, function so I can close this function by using the semicolon here, put the semicolon here, now this is the body of the main function. So we declare the so this is what this is the function declaration right so now here within this body we are declaring the local variables for example we'll have a first variable num1 uh, maybe i'll declaring it as 20 second variable for example this is num2 i'll be declaring it as 10 and then i have to declare it as a result okay So now we'll declare the result here. So result equal to addition and we'll call this parameters as it is declared here num1 and num2. We'll print the value here. See out. So addition, we are printing the result. So 
So this is the result here. We'll write here endl function and it will return zero. Now uh, that declaration of the function and the definition part is done, right? Now we have to call the function. So now we have to declare uh, that we will call this function. Uh, we'll write here addition. So we'll call here integer. So number one function one first parameter, then second parameter. will declare result so result number one then number two and will return the result So you can see uh, this is the function definition, right? So while you're declaring the function, right? So uh, once you declare the function, this is the function definition and we'll call the function, right? So here, this function will return the result, right? So that the function having two parameters, number one and number two. And uh, this result will uh, declare the function two parameters, num1 and num2 right and it will find the result as an addition now this is the calling function right you can see this is the calling function here result equal to addition of this num1 and num2 okay once you write a program uh, complete the program you can compile the program so this is the function Now you can run this program, once you compile, if no error, you can execute the program. So you can see that uh, there is a addition, right? So we'll call this function addition of two numbers. So addition of two numbers, we are uh, just calling this, uh, de defining this function as addition. This is the main function. We'll declare the local variables num1 and num2. Okay, we'll call the function result equal to. So we are storing that value in the result. So we'll call this function. This is a calling function as addition. And it will display the, uh, the addition of these two numbers. And once you uh, define the function, and then you can call the function. Okay, so this is all about the function. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.